If you've been told that you've got frozen shoulder and there's nothing you can do about it, please listen on. We see so many patients who are down in the dumps when they're given the diagnosis of frozen shoulder because they go home and Google it and they find out that it will get better on its own, but it can take anywhere between six months and three years. Three years is a really long time. Six months is also a really long time if you're not comfortable and you've had to stop activities in your life that you love doing. So what is frozen shoulder? It's a condition that affects your shoulder. It can affect one of them, both of them, or sometimes it affects one and then it shifts to the other shoulder, which is not nice at all. However, it's a condition where the capsule over the joint of the shoulder uh, starts to restrict the range of motion. And the amount of restriction that you have will depend on the severity of the condition. So some common features of the range of motion restriction is that you may not be able to reach very far overhead or you get stuck before your arm has to move forwards or you can't reach behind your back very well. So particularly for women with frozen shoulder, you might have a lot of difficulty doing up your bra strap. Now there's three typical stages of frozen shoulder and some characteristics that can help differentiate it from other shoulder conditions like a muscle tear or bursitis or other sort of impingement syndromes. So there's three stages. This is the freezing, the frozen, and th the thawing stage. The freezing stage is usually the most uncomfortable where people will tend to get a lot more night pain that tends to radiate down the front of the arm through the bicep. But during the day, as long as they're moving their arm, they feel okay. During the freezing stage is when the arm gradually starts to lose its range of motion. And so you might notice that one day you can reach behind your back and then a couple of months later or sometimes even weeks later it's even less or it's harder to get your arm behind your back or your arm overhead. And this can be really shocking for some people to experience such a rapid loss in their range of motion in one of their joints. The next stage is the frozen stage. So once you get to the frozen stage, things often feel a little bit better. The shoulder is stuck um, and it tends not to get worse with its restriction. And the pain tends to dull down quite a bit or you don't get as much night pain. This is where we can help quite a bit with providing exercises and doing particular range of motions through the shoulder and working on the muscles to help open up the capsule and stretch it and restore that function and range of motion in your arm and shoulder. The thawing stage is where naturally the body will start to loosen off through the capsule. But again, if we can help you with exercises and assist you with uh, different treatments, we can often get this process sped up so that you don't have to wait a full three years before you get full range of motion of your shoulder back. So again, if you've been told that you've got frozen shoulder, try not to Google it and make sure you do seek help. It can be a really emotional roller coaster for people. Again, especially if you've had to stop certain activities that you love doing. And we can help just guide you through that process. You don't have to suffer for a long time with frozen shoulder. Give us a call if you need any help or advice on frozen shoulder or if you think you might have this. We do also offer 15 minute free consultations with our practitioners if you want to find out more information and find out if our treatment's suitable for you. 